Hello ladies, this is Angel Holt with Angel Holt's Designs. Um, today I'm going to show you an etch all tutorial. Um, this year I am totally going to show you how you can decorate your home uh, using etch all etching products um, to have personalized items in your home that would make for conversation pieces is absolutely awesome I think um, and this is going to be uh, the start of the new year 2014 with one that I know that y'all would want to create as gifts and for your home and it will put a new perspective on soap pots okay if you're like me a lot of you got a bunch of soap uh, things for Christmas like this um, wonderful product I always have them on my counters and different smells and stuff and whatever so I wanted to create something that would kind of spice this bottle up so I went to my local craft store and I got a very plain glass um, ball uh, canning jar that means that it has it does not have the ball emblem um, melted into the glass or imprinted into the glass it's it's smooth and clear okay so the first step of this project is that I'm going to introduce you to etching all products and I'm going to be working with etch all dipping etch liquid we're not going to be working with the cream today we're going to be working with the dipping etch liquid and a project like this is absolutely perfect for this a concept okay so first things are first you're going to need to get you some etching mask which comes in a pack of eight at nine by 15 inches long plenty of room to run through your electric cutters and your die cutters um, and then you're going to need some etching mask transfer sheets these come in a pack of 10 of a 9 by 12 transfer sheets again lots of uh, room to do projects um, you're going to need uh, your swivel tool set by etching all and you're going to need your etching all um, squeegee tool perfect um, and you're going to need some masking tape or tape papers or uh, painters tape so but since we're going to be using the dipping etch I want to show you how to prepare um, for this product okay now I'm going to scoot this over and I'm going to scoot this over like this you're probably like oh my gosh what has she got going on okay in here I have my empty jar okay and I laid it into this container here first okay then I set my heavier bottle of etch all on top of the jar so that it wouldn't float um, you can fill your jar with beads or rice or beans and close the lid and everything but I'm just doing it this way to show you for demonstration purposes but this part this way works just as good okay so you put your jar into the container now remember this container cannot be used for nothing other than your etching dipping etch okay you can't rush it out and eat from it I would not suggest doing that so just dedicate dedicate a, a container for dipping etch so I put the jar in and I set the etch all thing in to hold it down then I poured water into this to where it would reach the lip of the jar just to the lip of the jar okay now I'm going to let the jar go like this okay and now I see how much dipping edge I need to put into this container to show me exactly, um, you know, show me the amount I need to pour in there. So to make a registration mark, you're just going to get you a marker. And you are going to mark. right there along that line and then you're going to take this water and pour it out like so and then now you have your line in there so I'm gonna run and pour this out very quickly
All right. So now I still have my line right in there. It's kind of hard to see, but I do have it in there. Okay. So now, now what I want to do is prepare my jar for etching. Okay. And a good rule of thumb I would suggest doing is put the lid back on so none of the etching mask will get inside the jar. Okay? When you dip it into your um, container here. And uh, so we're going to get started. All right. I had previously cut out a design with my electric cutting machine. And it's a design here. I had messed up on this one. But it's a design here. And before I lift it from the uh, charger sheet here, I am going to put my etching mask on top of that design so that I can prepare it for transfer. And you're going to need your squeegee tool for this process. Now remember, all HL's products can be purchased at www.etchall.com and all of HL's products are reusable, even the dipping edge. So once you get done, instead of pouring it down the sink, you definitely want to pour it back into your bottle. Okay? So, alright, I am peeling back some of the etching mask, just like this. And then I'm just going to slowly pull. I'm going to crease it right there. And then I'm just going to tear away like that. Then I have more etching uh, mask for another project. Now, to ensure you have great contact, you're going to want to take your squeegee tool. Again, all of these tools that we'll be using today can be purchased at www.etchall.com. And you're going to want to burnish with uh, some pressure. And make sure you have good contact. Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to get out your blade from your combo swivel set. And I'm just going to use the blade here and cut it off so that I can use it for my mat is so sad. It's such a sad mat. I need to get another one. Uh, I'll tell you what. Since I'm just going to use some scissors. Yeah. Here we go. I'm just going to use scissors. You can do it either way, but I'm just using scissors. Okay, there we go. All right, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to peel off the backing of your etch all etching mask, like that. Discard the backing. And I am going to, I, what I want to do is you can't see it on video, but I am trimming down this design so that I can have good placement. Let's see. I do this now, you don't have to do this, but if I want good placement on a curved um, project like this one, um, then I will do this because I don't want it wonky on there because once it's on there, it's very, very, it's this um, vinyl is a very, very strong vinyl and it will stick to anything. All right, there we go. We cut it down. Now, you're going to get your jar. You're going to lay it flat. No, Danny, I don't. I'm sorry for that. 
Okay. So now I like to lay the um, the center down first, and then I just wrap it around. Now, if you see some creases in here, don't fret because you are going to burnish those out with your squeegee tool. You just want good contact. Working with a curved surface is somewhat challenging. But once you take the, the time and the patience, all things will work out just great. Okay, and just go down the center here. All right, now you're going to take your blade tool and you're going to lift off the etching mask, which is the white. You're going to leave your yellow paper and you're just going to lift off the white. Sometimes getting it to start is, there we go. There we go. Do this very carefully because if you have not burnished enough uh, for the yellow etching mask to have a good contact, you will have to go back and redo it. So just be very slow with this. Okay. Very slow. Awesome. Coming out beautifully. There we go. All right. Now, oh, I'm sorry. You're just going to make sure. Oh yeah, this is going to be beautiful. Beautimus. Okay, so now we're going to be etching um, we're going to keep the positive on here and we're going to take away the background because we're going to completely be dipping this um, jar into the dipping it. So, with that said, you are going to take your knife and you are going to remove the background. Okay? So, I want to do this in sections because this has, you know, some fancy words with it. Okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'll show you this section here and then I'll come back and show you um, the finished jar. Okay? because I might add another design on the top or bottom and I want to show you how to, you know, show you that as well. So I am just removing the background. That's why I wasn't real worried about the, the bottom part of the design and I don't want this design on there. I don't like how it looks. So I will be putting a different one. It looks, I don't know, I just don't like that one. That is the way I am. I'll change my mind and when I see something. Sometimes you have to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the vinyl uh, from the backing and reveal the positive. And I will be right back. 
All right. Okay, I am back. As you see, I put a different uh, filigree uh, design at the top that I absolutely love. I love that design. And um, this says, bless this house on here. So, now, my jar is covered. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my container. And where I made my registration mark is how much dipping etch. I'm going to pour it in there. And remember that the dipping etch is reusable. So do not throw it down the drain. Put it back into your uh, container here. Okay. So I'm going to pour enough dipping etch into where that line is. And it pretty much took the whole bottle because I've been doing dipping etches. Now, you're going to set the jar slowly in there, like this. You're going to put your weight at the top. And there you have it, ladies. There you have it. So, this has got to dip and etch for 15 minutes just like the dipping uh, the cream so I will be back in 15 minutes uh, to reveal to you the uh, design because after the 15 minutes is elapsed you're going to return your dipping it back into its container and you're going to take your jar to your sink and wash off any design, uh, any residue that's left off, and you're going to remove your vinyl pieces, your etching mask, under the water because that is so much easier to do than trying to peel it off and everything. So, uh, lukewarm water and uh, maybe a little bit of soap if you want, and clean up your jar with paper towel, and I will come back and show you what more um, I'm going to do with this jar to make it into a soap dispenser. Okay, I'll be back in a few. Okay, ladies, I'm back. And look at this. It's all beautifully opaque. Look at that. And then you have the beautiful design on the front. And then you have Bless This House right here. Isn't that gorgeous? And only at y'all can give you these types of results. You see there see beautiful etching and this is using the etch all dipping at dip and etch liquid okay and it's all back in my bottle so I didn't waste and it's ready to do another etching okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the lid for the um, show you how I'm going to do this. Now, this is the pump, okay, and uh, and it will fit perfectly in there. This pump, okay, we know that the jar is seven inches tall, and the pump from tip to tip is eight and a quarter inches, okay. But the main thing we need to concentrate on is getting this smaller piece. You see here, this is the lid, the screw lid. But this part here is what's going to go inside of here. And then this base here is going to sit on top of the lid. Okay. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can take your uh, husband's drill and drill a hole. Or you can use your uh, crop it out and it'll punch right through the metal and I'm going to make a few holes I'm going to make my hole big because you'll see why in a moment okay because I've got to get the hole big enough for me to get um, my scissors in so that I can make a big enough hole for that to fit. Okay, so now what I want to do 
So I'm going to take my scissor and be very, very careful when doing this because your scissor, this is metal and it will cut you. Okay? So I need to make it a little bit bigger and then you can go back around and clean up the edges once you have it pretty much okay. almost as you see there see I'm almost there so go through here A little bit more. There we go. See? Now it sits in there perfect. And then you're going to put the tube back on. I'll show you how I'm going to seal that. You're going to set it right into there and see isn't that neat I love it I love 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 it so that's all you have to do to install your um, pump okay as far as that piece now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sink and I'm going to finish trying to get this off. It won't come off. I think I'm going to get some fingernail polish remover or undo or some goo gown. Something I have laying around here and get the rest of this off. I hate sticky. And then I'm going to get a piece of sandpaper and sand these edges just a little bit so that the, um, the high parts are not on there like that and then what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some E6000 glue to glue this pump down to the lid okay and what I might do is either glue it from underneath so that none of the glue will seep out on the top so what I'll do is I'll sit that in there and I will glue it probably underneath like that okay all right so I'll be right back okay I got the uh, stuff the icky glue residue off the top and I used uh, goo gum and you're just gonna put it in there okay now what I'm gonna do and you can do this one of two ways. You can glue along this edge or you can glue from underneath, which I'm going to glue from underneath. Okay. And I'm going to take the back of an old paintbrush handle. And I'm going to see now if your pump breaks all you would have to do is replace the lid and that's it okay I know many of you are probably going what if my pump breaks uh, no um, you would I would just replace the lid and what I'm doing here is I'm sealing it with the E6000. Okay. Like that. It's kind of doing a like a caulking on uh, like windows, but you're caulking it with E6000. Now 
Now, I do know that you can buy on eBay. They're kind of expensive. Um, they're like $15. You can go ahead and buy the um, lids that already have the pumps installed in them, but they're like $15 each. And I am repurposing a soap dispenser that I've had. So, there you go. Now, all I have to do is let gravity do the work by setting it in there like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you something else I'm going to do to this to make it fancier than what it is. Just glue the... Get that nice and tight. Okay. Now, I've got this beautiful... Um, candle holder. It's just a simple dollar store candle holder. And I am going to put it on the base. Okay, so this is going to be a real fancy uh, job. And all you're going to do is you're going to use your E6000 and you're going to spread it along the lip of the candle holder. Like that. Be generous with this step. There you go. All right. And then now we're going to adhere this to the bottom as take pressure make sure that it's even like that there you go that's what it's going to look like and then along the top here I've got to make it a little shabby chic I have to um, either bling it or purl it or uh, and I've got to turn on my hot glue gun. Um, you can add a bow. You can add a little touch of pearl. It's just whatever you want to do. I'm going to figure this out. Do I want... Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Or you can add bling trim like this. Or you can add the pearl with the bling, which is probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to measure the bling around. Now, another thing that you can do, too, is you can uh, paint your lid, like um, in pink paint, or uh, spray paint the lid, or do something like that, um, if you want to. Um, it's, of course, it's up to you. Um, you can, um, if you're going to paint it, I would suggest sanding it then putting a coat of gesso, and then put your acrylic paint. But if you spray paint it before you install your pump, um, then you won't ever, you won't have to do that because spray paint will take to um, whatever you spray it on. So, I mean, again, the choice is yours um, if you want to do it that way. I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up, so... Let me go ahead and measure this beading trim. But again, you can get all of your etch all etching products at www.etchall.com. And uh, again, they have step-by-step -step instructions. If you've never used their products before, there's step-by-step -step instructions in their uh, packaging. So remember, we use the etching mask transfer sheets. 
which is the white paper, and that's what you do to transfer your designs onto your glass. We use the etching mask itself, which is the yellow paper. And this is what is put onto your design here, and uh, so that, you know, it helps you etch your design. And tonight we used the dipping etch. Now I have several tutorials on the uh, on my channel that shows you how to use the etch all cream. And of course, I used a solid glass uh, ball jar, and these are crafting jars. There's the smooth jar, and it doesn't have the ball emblem um, in there. Now, if you want the ball emblem. Um, you're more, you can do the same thing except you wouldn't have a clean, um, etching like you see here. You wouldn't have that. So, um, you would want that. And, uh, if you have any questions about the etching, um, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Okay, there it goes. Hot glue gun is working. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, I like to start in the back, and I'm going to start with the pearl trim first. discrepancy on that. It's going to drive me nuts if I don't get it off. Okay. And also you'll notice uh, that once you etch your jars or whatever you etch the etching cream gives the glass a bite okay and that bite will allow you to paint and hot glue items onto it that will stick which is pretty awesome I'm going to snip off the excess here, like so, press that in. Now I'm going to go back in with my bling trim. I'm going to start in the back the same way. Blue webs. There we go. Come on, Mr. Blue Gun. This is like a shabby chic um, soap dispenser. Just awesome. All right. Then you're going to snip off. I'm not going to snip it off. It fit perfect. There we go. 
Now, you're just going to get the glue webs off. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now, you can set this in your um, dining area, anywhere, I mean dining area, your uh, bathroom, um, on your vanity, on your kitchen sink, or anywhere you want to. Fill it up with soap, dishwashing soap, uh, hand soaps, and anything, and you will be having people wash their hands in style and grace. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will. So, be sure to check out all the project products that I used in this uh, tutorial at www.etchall.com. And uh, until next time, ladies, uh, I can't wait to show you more and more etchall projects. Bye-bye.